Debris is a hummingbird shooting game released for the Sega 32X in 1995. The game comes from the same developers as the Echo the Dolphin series, sharing a similar surreal art style and earthy soundtrack. Calibri begins with a brief cutscene of a crystal giving our nameless hummingbird hero some special powers. After that, you can now shoot projectiles and the journey to save the earth begins. The most striking thing about Calibri are the graphics. The opening few stages are particularly striking, with bright colors and a lot of detail. Much of this was achieved with a heavy use of dithering due to the color limitations of the Sega Genesis. Still, dithering aside, there are plenty of layers of scrolling and the Sega 32X has no problems keeping up with all of the action. The soundtrack is more of a mixed bag. First, the volume is all over the place. Sometimes you'll hear decent melodies with high quality piano notes and clean drum sounds. Other times you'll strain to hear the music at all. Sadly, it almost doesn't matter as the sound of you shooting drowns out the music anyway. I think the developers were trying to capture a certain atmospheric mood, but at times they miss the mark. The gameplay itself is fairly straightforward, despite the fact you are controlling a hummingbird. Scattered about the levels are different bubbles that each contain a different weapon. These weapons never run out of ammo, most have homing properties, and generally they mow through the game's enemies without much trouble. You can collect certain power-ups that give you a secondary shot as well. These secondary weapons are generally used to break through walls and help progress through the levels. There are a few different level types in Calibri. Some require that you simply defeat all of the enemy insects and plants, which will then end the stage. Other levels expand on this concept, requiring you to defeat all of the enemies in a section before this beetle thing lets you through to the next section. Other levels feature minor puzzle elements. In this level, you have to lightly fire at this rock, which then breaks down a wall. Finally, some levels play more like a traditional shmup, where the screen automatically scrolls and you simply need to survive to finish. Calibri is generally a well-received game, with fans appreciating its great graphics, solid soundtrack, and unique presentation. Unfortunately, I find the game to be fairly flawed. The first issue is with the controls themselves. The hummingbird doesn't really control all that great, and the movements sometimes feel very erratic. There's also a strange self-centering mechanic that feels off. My next issue is with the weapons. Almost immediately, you have access to every single weapon in the game. The weapons never change, they can't be upgraded, they don't run out, and new ones aren't introduced in later levels. This makes the game start to feel a bit stale very quickly. You can collect hit points, which is nice. When you collect one, hummingbirds will flash around you, signifying how many hit points you have remaining before you die. This is somewhat innovative, as it eliminates the need for a HUD. And I do like how there is nothing cluttering up the screen. It helps immerse you into the environments. Lastly, Calibri is a bit on the boring side. Many of the levels don't require much thought, just follow along a designated path, break down some walls, and head to the finish arrows. When the game isn't dull, it's somewhat annoying. It's all too easy to accidentally get swallowed by a frog or chameleon. This section with dropping water is especially tedious, as you die in one hit from the big drop. I've spent the last 15 years trying to light Calibri, hoping there was some hidden depth to the game I had yet to uncover. Unfortunately, there is nothing hiding here. The game is very superficial, and the beauty is only skin deep. Calibri pretty much feels the same from start to finish, with no real sense of progression. The entire weapon system is half-hearted, and the levels are only mildly interesting. Games should be rewarding you for progressing, and Calibri simply doesn't. There are many folks who greatly enjoy Calibri, and consider it one of the top games on the system. Your mileage may vary. With that said, this is a unique title, and an interesting release for the Sega 32X. I just wish it was fun. 2 out of 5.